Hey yo, this is Dash, and um, I figured I'd show you the progress I made on the double grill. So, for all intents and purposes, it's done. Um, the frame fully welded out. I ended up getting these wheels from Harbor Freight. The little wheels that I had on there that came from a lawnmower, or excuse me, a grill that I used sacrificially to make one of my smokers. Um, yeah, it, it, it didn't hold it. So I found these handles also, you know, kind of sacrificial and I mean, craptastic welds hold the hold. Um, <laughs> the inside looks a lot better than the outside. The uh, grill grates fully welded with expanded. A little difficult to move around with just one hand. Um, I still have to put something on there, like a little handle or something. I haven't done that just yet. But the um, charcoal grate, same, you know, made out of expanded as well. It's just to keep the charcoal from being on the bottom of the uh, expanded there. You can see where my uh i think that was the sanding wheel i sat it down and i uh, ended up turning it on when it, it fell off the edge of one of the grates so yeah that's awesome um it needs to be burnt out uh, before, before i actually use it so there's two charcoal grates in there and uh, i figured you kind of pull them into the center pile your charcoal up and then use them. I was trying to debate whether I should leave them in this way or or flip them over this way to kind of be like a catch basket type deal but then I thought because I was so how I did this out into the light so I had uh, this is one inch square tube and I made the one inch square tube 12 inches long and then this is I believe it might be three quarter angle or one inch angle I guess it's one inch angle because if it wasn't it would be yeah so sorry one inch angle sorry for the all right one inch angle and um, the angle ended up being because I had a 10 foot piece so it ended up being uh, two and a half feet um, long because it's two and a half feet here two and a half feet here two and a half feet on this side two and a half feet on this side which meant that that's a total of uh, 10 feet and those were the lengths that I had and I didn't want to have to cut and splice anything in so I just used what I had this piece here was a piece I had left over and you know it's just cut to 12 inches to help uh, be a brace so that when the charcoal gets on here and pushes on here um, it won't just burn through and bow the middle of that uh, grate there so I think it turned out pretty well at least the inside turned out better than the outside I'm still not that big of a fan of the outside of this entire thing I'm seriously contemplating cutting the whole thing up and uh, starting over but for right now at least um it looks like it'll work. It looks like it'll be functional. The grill grates look good. The charcoal grates look good. The frame looks okay. Again, you know, I'm not the best welder just yet. The wheels work. And um, so I need to do some sort of handle fabrication. So I need to put some sort of handle or grab, you know, grab onto the charcoal grate, uh, or charcoal grate, as well as the cooking grate. Um, and then I also need to put a handle of some sorts on the end of the uh, frame here. It does work. You can grab it from here. And usually what I do is I grab it from about here and I move it around. The easiest way I found to move it around, honestly enough, is to kind of get my hands down towards the bottom and grab from down there and lift it up to about waist height. And then it just moves any old way I want to. I probably say the same way he's a good 100 150 pounds um it's not light uh, metal 
metal uh, starts to add up quickly. Um, I'm finding out as I am uh, working more and more with it. So, nonetheless, um, thanks for watching.